Hi there guys, it's Jaakko here. I've been enjoying the Zebra Summit and the videos in the website. It's really cool and especially I, I was glad to see the Japanese artists from Square Enix who gave really nice demo about the, especially about how they use the Zebras for their weapon workflow. Uh, it was really cool, especially the way how they showed that they use the masks which they create in like uh, maybe Illustrator and then use the masks uh, in in uh, zebras to to sculpt the, the details into the uh, into the weapon so it was really nice i really recommend to check the videos out so the zebra score is now out so i was wondering that what is this really and i just want to kind of take a look what it is so it's a zebra score is for you yeah um for me the, i get the impression that zebra score is meant for for artists who have just finished art school for example that they want to get into sculpting but but they don't want to wait like to save money uh, for the big version and just for to have some features what they probably don't even need and and especially this is i think great for for those who want to make figures who want to make uh, 3d printed models and so on and this also has some features for 3d printing which the bigger zebras doesn't have so i'm going to get to that in a moment but but yes it seems to be sort of like a as they said streamlined version and when I think about Zebras nowadays, I mean, it has a lot of systems. It has a lot of huge number of features. And some of the features are kind of forgotten by Pixelogic, so they are just hanging out there. And I'm not sure how many people actually use them. And like the 2.5D uh, workflow nowadays that we have so many other options to create tiling textures. So I'm not sure how many actually really use 2.5D uh, workflow for tiling textures. I've used that a couple of times, but these days if I need to create something, I'm just gonna use Substance right away or something else like that. So like that is one thing. And and there's like uh, also the Z monitor thing that when I was thinking at, do I really, how much do I really need use the Z monitor? You know, the, the sort of this, this wacky way to, you know, uh, get, create the base meshes. If I do that, I'm gonna always use a uh, light wave or other, 3D 3D modeling applications. I'm like, it's I I played around with it and it's kind of nice. And sometimes yes, to correct some workflow issues, uh, some uh, po polyflow issues. Sometimes I use it and and maybe make some simple like uh, buildings. I have used it a couple of times, but I I don't. That's something that I just absolutely don't care about. What I really care about, Cypress, of course, sculpting organic models. So I mean that I just kind of wondered why are they. <laughs> Why is Pixelic so excited to you know throw that stuff in there and just keep putting the new new features, new features instead of I don't know like going forward making a Zebras Five? But but I'm not sure what's going on in that front. So um, I have no complaints. However, like when I thought about my port Zebras, almost like what's that? Ten years ago, almost. Uh, well, not ten years, but uh, I think like seven years. Seven years ago, almost yes, uh, and. I bought number version 4 that time and I got the limited edition tin and then I just received these free upgrades like every year, almost every year, just new upgrades and 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 when I'm seeing how much this has developed since, you know, early early days, yeah, it's it's been a great value for me. I'm absolutely loving Zebras. Um, so, um, so let's take a look what this guy has. So, um, so it has the feature list we can compare it to the full version so dynamesh it has dynamesh that's great uh, absolutely uh, great news that it has dynamesh because dynamesh is here so i'm really loving it so uh, it says uh, it has c spheres okay i didn't actually realize that so and then we have sculpting we have uh, some limitation here a maximum number of polygons per mesh is 20, 20 million we have a number of brushes oh this is uh, just 30 okay this might be limiting if you're doing some specific, like for example, rocks or something. Uh, surface noise render a problem. Yeah, if you're if you're gonna do rocks, uh, it's not gonna be doing at uh, the actual geometry. It's just a render effect. Hmm. But yeah, boolean to operation of dynamics. Well, that's really good that it has that, so we can use dynamics. Um Illustrator illustration uh, two and a half feet deep. In, yeah, that's gone. We can't use that. Which I'm not sure how many people actually still use. Uh, texturing, uh, 3D painting capabilities, poly paint, uh, basic. So it has basic polypoint, not advanced. Hmm, I don't know what that means. Texture map support doesn't have. Projection painting doesn't have. Um, same goes on render passes. No, so we can still use like basic BPR, best preview render. Um, uh, but yeah, um, material editing import is lacking. Yeah. 
So also the bridge, bridge between major 3D applications is missing and yeah, export 3 Zephyrus resources uh, we can't export, okay. Yeah, and we, I, these are actually, and yes, and by the way, these are the things that are missing from the bigger version, which are present in the Zephyrus course, all this one-click optimiza optimization for 3D printing and advanced export settings for 3D printing are are in the separate score but are currently missing from the because Zephyrus. So the advanced features, yes, so all of these guys are missing from the Zephyrus core. So I'd like to take a look at what do I use personally. Uh, Shadowbox, um, I'm not a huge big user of this, um, sometimes I've used it and I, I can imagine that there might be in near future I might actually be using this uh, Zsketch, um, yeah, sometimes use Zmore, not, not really much. Um, Advanced brush stroke customization, absolutely love it. Use it. User made brushes, so it says that Zebra can load brushes created in Zebra's core, but but uh, not the vice versa. So, um, you know, that makes sense, you know. And 3D layers, I use uh, HD geometry, sometimes use fibers, use um, automatic retopology, completely missing. I'm loving this in the big Zebra's, um, especially after 4R6. It got huge improvement and it's just so fast and it creates so great result in such a quick time. Absolutely a huge fan of the retopo, automatic retopo in Zebras. Um, it's such a pity that it's missing. Masking capabilities, basic, oh uh, yeah, mm, polygroup capabilities. So it has a basic polygroups, which is nice, I suppose. Crease edge loop, um, not really using, um, well, yes, I do use sometimes these. Um, UV mapping actually use um, AO and SSS and so on, uh, environment maps, using like caps on, so yeah, mm. Mm, uh, 3D starts today, uh, ready to begin your journey, I'm ready, yeah, well, I don't know, it makes sense, you know, when you think about Zebras as a whole and, and having used Zebras for so many years and I've s sort of seen its path from the early 4 to, to this R7 now, um, yeah, it makes sense for Pixelogic to do this, I think, and yeah, if you're a figure sculptor or sculptor for 3D print, why not, this might be the solution for you, so yeah, these are my thoughts on Zebra's Core, I, I'd like to hear what you think, please write to the comments what you think about Zebra's Core, I'd love to hear your comments and opinions, so yeah, just a little update on Zebra's side here. This was Jakko and I hope you have a nice weekend. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.